What's going on, everybody? It's Mac Music 63, and today I'm gonna help you guys out a little bit. Basically, with making your beats bigger and sound less simple, yet they're simple at the same time. So let's say you got something like this. And you want to make it sound like this. Now, I know you guys may be thinking, God damn, how I'm finna do that? And all I got is this. Well, I had to start somewhere, right? And this is exactly how I started. <laughs> well, actually, I did all the music first. But, but anyway, that's beside the point. Now, really, you don't want these basic four bar, I mean, four note things. So what went through my mind is, basically, I have to build, I have to build the, the, ugh, I have to build the, um, oh my God, I'm tweaking right now. I have to build the chord first. Make sure you build chords. But firstly, I, I just added in that, you know, it. Seems simple, but you take a note off and put it back in at a different spot. Look how this adds a little bit of variation to it. And this is a bass note of it. So usually with bass notes, I'll just go up a bit, see what feels good with it. Basically, what sounds good. Basically, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I just counted. You know what sounded good on the first one, and since I just picked these four notes, usually I just go up however many whites I did on the first one. See, I went one, two, three, four. I go up four for the next one, and it should sound good. I went up four whites every single one, and it sounds good. And these are all the bass notes. Now we can start with the actual chord. I think I started at A. Yeah, I started back at A. I just, yeah, I don't know why I went back for reference, but it's supposed to. Let's click naturally. And with this, I pick one, four, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that works every time. And with however many whites I went up, one, two, three, should work. Next time, one, two, three, which is one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It should be the white. This shouldn't sound right, but we're gonna see. Yeah, it's probably. Just... <laughs> you have to build the chord. One, four, eight usually sounds good. Usually one, three, seven. It all depends on where you start. So let's go. Three whites, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So it's probably four, five, six, seven, eight. It's probably this one. So something don't sound right here.
See, I'm a little bit, you know, a little bit off with it. I'm supposed to bring it down more. Either way, this it sounds okay. Nothing too great. I'm just gonna... A C E. How many don't go up for? Three whites. And that was just basic FL Keys Grand Piano. And what I did next is, because I worked with the music first, what I did next was open up another FL Keys, but I put it on the Rogues. If you guys don't know how that sound, this has a different, has a, a different sound to it. So what I did next was copy, copy this melody into my Rogues melody. And when you play them together, you get this. That's the sound you get with that one. Shouts out to my son in the background, lit. And then I went to pads. And what I landed on when I went to GMS, I went to the pads and textures bank and got the smooth and warm T-E. It, it sounds a little bit like this. And what I did was, yes, I pasted it into there, but it turned it it turned out to be too... Oh, God. Hold on. Let me get rid of those. With your pad, you want your pad to just go straight out. So select all, drag, and it was too, the bass notes were too hard, so what I did was click control, hold control, and press the up arrow key, so it gave it a lighter feel to it, so... different from when we started right build those chords it really really and the pad the pad the pad and the roads are basically doing the exact same thing filling in a dead space from the piano because the piano is where we're strongest at that's where the energy is coming from the piano in the drums in the hats when i bring the hats in but yeah and then i went what did i go to oh bass you already know this i like this bass sound so you already know how we do the basses. Feel the energy. And we already got that. So what I basically did was just got me a hat. All of these. This is just FL Studio Native. Everything is, you can do this, you can make this beat as soon as as you get at Phil Studio, you ain't got no kits or nothing. So I got this hat and I just dragged it all the way out here. And I wanted to have a little variation with the snare. I mean, you guys don't have to do this, but I wanted to do something a little different with the snare. So I like, I love that sound. So I put it on every like starting with the first snare and then every other snare so and i felt like i was getting a groove but i felt like i needed something to you know differentiate between the, between the hook in the actual verse because i'm i was going to take the pad out for the verse and maybe leave the rogues in or vice versa but i needed something to you know distinguish between the hook and the verse so what i got was this pluck synth from i think this is simpson yeah i think this is simpson i don't really know but 
Oh, this is Wasp. Yeah, this is Wasp. It's in FL Studio. Yeah, it's regular. It's just in FL Studio. And this is the sound. And what I did was copy my pad, copy what I had done with the pad to copy Control C and then pasted it with Control V. And this is what it sounded like. And I didn't really hear anything. So what I decided to do was click it. And then you go to this wrench key over here. And you click the arpeggiate. I could have had it just go up. Or just down. But what I decided to do was have it go up and down. So... differentiate between the two and I mean basically that's it guys all you really need to do to move away from the typical doom 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 to move away from that is first you have to build chords build those chords first because when you build those chords you could literally add in any kind of note in between this and with a different sound and it will sound great because it's in key. Like, let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. Like, let's grab citrus. Oh, where is citrus? Right here. They got some fruity sound. Yeah, I'll hook it to the same thing. I'll hook my clock sent to. And let's say I wanted to, I'll just put in random things with it. It sounds it doesn't sound out of place because I'm on key I'm in key of the song once you find the key of your song you can really do anything but don't just have one note be it off of that one note if it's a top note then make it you know make the chord from that if it's a bass note you make the chord from that just remember wherever you start you can count one two three four five six seven eight and some if it's most it's usually not a black and a white key usually it's just white keys and white is you know yeah can, yeah yeah like slow but yeah i mean yeah guys so if you want any type of other tutorials let me know but this has been mac music 63 how to make your beats i guess you could say stand out but give them more life no drake but you just gotta give your beats life and don't nobody want to hear no garbage ass simple beat. And it's real simple to give them life, guys. It took me, what, five minutes to make this? Then I just switched it up for you guys over here. And yeah. Both equally fire. You can do whatever you want with it. You could you could choose a different, a whole different scale altogether. But yeah. Just adding them sounds. It's been Mac Music 63. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Press play on this joint while I leave. Hey. Hey.